Hey folks, welcome back to Culinary Quest. Um, you notice things might look a little different over here. Uh, that is because, against the advice of the pack creators, I updated the pack, uh, updated Karma to 1.4.6 point something? I don't know. Um, it suggested that you start a new world with this update. I did, well, I actually, I did, I cloned my instance so that I still have the original just in case something goes horribly wrong. But, um, you notice uh, it's awfully quiet around here now, and that's because, uh, uh Lycanite's Mobs is gone. Lycanite's Mobs is no longer in the pack. No more Ika. No more, um, no more Aerosaur. No more, no more Vigisaurs. Uh, that's a lot of stuff has disappeared. Um, the good news is that makes my, my culinary quest slightly easier because there are fewer things I have to kill for their meat now. Um, however, Pam's has added a number of critters and also a number of dishes. And I'm going to have to go through the museum and uh, change out some signs from all the... Uh, all the lycanite foods and turn them into, you know, the new Pam's foods and whatever else. Uh, Project Zulu, I think, has been in the pack the whole time, I want to say. It adds a whole bunch of new potions, like so many. I would have to add a whole nother wing onto the museum. Uh, I'm going to consult with the uh, Angel Creepers and see if... Uh, if they will allow me to, uh, if they'll give me a break on that. I have scraped down that big lump. Oh, Angel Creeper. Hi, I, I have a question about my quest. Angel Creeper, where, where are you? There you are. Could, could you come? I, I have a question. Um, I know I'm supposed to do every food and every ingredient and every potion. Uh, Project Zulu has a whole heck of a lot of potions in it. There's, like, physically not room in the museum for them. Is it okay if I, um, I'm honestly not sure how to take that. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna roll with what I have for now. <clears throat> and should I finish what's already up there? Then we will move on to the Project Zulu potions, but until that time, I'm going to make an executive decision as the new uh, director of the Beefnopolis Culinary Museum. I'm going to make an executive decision. We're not going to do the Project Zulu potions, the boatload of Project Zulu potions, until such time as I fill up the rest of the museum. Um, so, uh, let's see. Ika, we can take... Oops, give me that. Take that down. Let's turn that into tuna. Uh, I think I've got cephignus over here, perhaps. Oh, seaweed. I need to bring some seaweed over. Give me that. We'll turn that into uh, octopus. And I'm going to need to add some more cases and some more um, signs. And I'll do that off camera later on. But, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, there's some, there some biome weirdness happened with the update. This used to all be a an orchard biome. Now it's a quagmire. And now this, what used to be this beautiful blue water has turned brown and yucky. Um, I, it, w it was cool to have the museum set up to where, you know, the patrons could just come in and fish on their own. But since it is no longer aesthetically pleasing, I may just cover this up. Oh, here we go. That is a good old-fashioned fish. Yeah, there are definitely some new Pam's recipes. Oh, and some of the cakes are placeable now, which is cool. So I'm going to have to make cake pedestals upstairs for those. So that's, uh, that's something. Okay. But yeah, the biggest change I've noticed so far is uh, lichenites is gone. So I'll need to uh, pull down. Actually, you know what? I can. Uh, I can think of one thing I need to do right right away. And that is, I'll just take this, and we'll do scrap meat. 
from Zulu, because I've got some of that. Uh, spider, how have I not put spider eyes in here? I think all of the, um, I'm going to just go ahead and take these, all the, uh, all the lycanites down. As much as it pains me to do this. I'm not sure. I'm just going to leave them blank for now. In the event that, um, <coughs> excuse me, I've, I've been sick, pardon me. In the event that we get some more, uh, there's more meat that I don't know about. So I'll put that there. And let's head up, hello, upstairs. Okay, uh, this is the wrong end. All right, right away. Let's just uh, take all these down. And, okay. And I'll just uh, put that there and there. Oops. Ah, that's not where that goes. <laughs> okay. And we'll just uh, leave those blank for now. Yeah, I need to be put um, pedestals for all the different cakes up. And let's just uh, get rid of all these. Do I have magnet mode on? I do. You know, I'm, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let it slide for right now, cause uh, man, I am gonna miss the savignus. Oh. I am going to miss the Cephignus meat. Um, oh, well, poo. What went there? Oh, boy. Well, I think it was the honeyed slice. So I'll put that there. That's all the, uh, the Twilight stuff. Okay. <coughs> And here we go. Oops. And here we go. There we go. There we go. Ah, <sighs> well, kind of depressing, actually. <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. We'll uh, we'll make it work. Any eggy wigs? Nobody has egged. No. But yeah, this used to be all pretty and green, and now it's brown and yucky. And I'm not sure I like that, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, where is my chaotic tool? <clears throat> now, don't tell me chaotic craft is gone. Right? And chaotic craft's got to be here still. Got to be. Got to be. Um, 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 I know I've got chaotic ore. I know I do. I think it's gone. I think it's... Oh. Um, yep. <clears throat> no chaotic ore. Purple dye. Okay, chaos cookie. Yum. I've got to, uh... I've got to make a jet pack. I've got to go flying. I've got to find some cocoa beans, big time. Now, let's just make sure that uh, magical crops are didn't get added or anything. Okay. Magic bean. Oh, Twilight Forest. Are those edible? I don't know. We just don't know. Okay, so. <laughs> we have got some work to do like we didn't before. It's all right, folks. I'm going to try to uh, straighten out the museum some. And next time, I think we might get started maybe possibly working on a jetpack. That is a thing we need to do. And I'm going to just hang that up there. So I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. kind of like the crayfish computer in that you can buy things from it. But the things you can buy are all food-related. 
can buy a sapling. 